Hi, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you to all of you that have supported my work. Well, here's a real mystery. There is an unspecified medical issue aboard the ISS. Potentially, the first ever medical evacuation could happen. What they're calling a sudden medical concern involving one astronaut on the International Space Station has disrupted operations and raised the possibility of an unprecedented early crew return. NASA announced yesterday, January 7th, that it was postponing a planned spacewalk scheduled for today, January 8th, due to an unspecified medical situation. It happened in the afternoon. The affected crew member, one of the four astronauts from the SpaceX Crew 11 mission, is reported to be in stable condition, but the agency is actively evaluating options, including ending the mission early. The Crew 11 team, which arrived at the ISS in August of last year, aboard the SpaceX Crew Dragon Endeavor, including astronauts Zena Cardman, who is the commander, Mike Finkel, the pilot, JAX astronaut, Kimia Yui, and Ross Cosmos, cosmonaut, who's a Russian uh, cosmonaut, astronaut, Oleg Potanov. Their mission was originally set to conclude around late February of this year, overlapping briefly with the incoming Crew-12. NASA has emphasized strict medical privacy protocols, declining to identify the astronaut or disclose the nature of the issue. No credible reports indicate it involves an injury, trauma, or requirement for surgery. Common space flight health challenges such as fluid shifts leading to vision problems, kidney stones, urinary infections, or muscle strains could be factors, but speculations remain unconfirmed. The seriousness of considering an early return suggests the condition may not be fully manageable with the ISS onboard medical resources, which include basic diagnostics, ultrasound, and medication, but no advanced surgical capabilities. The postponed spacewalk and what the broader implications could mean. The canceled extra vehicular activity, EVA, was set to perform was set to be performed by Fink and Cardman. It would have marked Cardman's first spacewalk and Fink's tent. The primary objective was preparing the station's port side trust, AM, a 2A power channel, for the installation of a new rollout solar array sometime later this year. These flexible panels are curtailed for augmenting the aging space station power system as it approaches its planned deorbit sometime around 2030 to maybe 2031. Additional tasks including rotating cables, installing modification kits, photographing hardware, and collecting microbial samples near the Quest airlock to study space environment contamination. A follow-up EVA planned for January 15th, uh, remains under review. Notably, this spacewalk had no connection to past ISS air leak issues in the Russian uh, module. Those were resolved through internal repairs late last year. If NASA opts for an early undocking, first for medical reasons in IS history, the full crew, 11, would return together, all four of them. Crew Dragon serves as their dedicated lifeboat, configured specifically for the four astronauts. There is no provision for evacuating a single astronaut independently. An early departure would involve splashing down in the Pacific Ocean, leaving the remaining ISS crew, um, you know, the Russians, to maintain operations until reinforcement arrives. 
A contingency plan, such as what's going on, has been long planned, with docked capsules acting as a grouped emergency vehicles. Crew safety remains NASA's top priority, and further updates are expected soon, within 24 hours, I guess. Despite the disruption, Crew 11 continues contributing to vital human research. Key studies, including the Chipper suit, um, C I P H E E R, um, also tracking multiple systems, how they adapt to microgravity, countermeasures for vision and brain health issues. They also were supposed to do simulated lunar landing performance tests for Artemis uh, missions. They're also doing um, exercise protocols for muscle and bone loss, studying that, and microgravity, and yeah, that has an effect on the bodies too. They're also doing research on um, stem cell production with Earth-based medical applications. As the ISS enters its 26th year of continuous human presence, this event underscores the inherent risk of long-duration spaceflight. While medical issues are rare and typically managed on board, they highlight the challenge of deep space exploration ahead. NASA's has promised more details within 24 hours, and the space community awaits clarity about the crew's fate. Yeah, just exactly who is involved with this medical emergency. They're saying that the person is in stable condition, but whatever it is can't be treated there, yeah, up in space. Because of dehydration, a lot of times the astronauts develop kidney stones, and they have well, shifts in the fluid, which often affects, um, yeah, their eyes. There was even a case one time, one, the, one of the spacewalks was canceled because of a pinched nerve, and they couldn't put on the spacesuit to do the spacewalk. So I don't know. What do you think? Um, something to do with the fluids, I would say, in the body and the effects on the body. But I'm just speculating. What are your thoughts that the medical situation could be? Was someone actually injured up there in space and requires uh, more advanced treatment here on Earth? Kidney stones, I know, can be very painful. And it could lead to urinary tract infections. But I don't know. Thank you for watching. Please put your thoughts down below. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.